Hi guys, it's Bunny Girl and welcome to a new video. This is a bit more of a vlogging style video. But what I wanted to tell you in this video, I think will be short, is about Game of Thrones season 6 final episode. And I mean like, what? Me being crazy and whatnot, of course, that wouldn't be Bunny Girl. <laughs> so what I wanted to say is that Arya Stark, she's so crazy. She actually went to the Faceless Assassin, learned everything they know and said goodbye bitches. I'm my own boss right now. And now she is going on the revenge or the hunt here. Killing hunt and killing spree and she started very quickly. And actually I was like surprised how quick she managed to go all that path because in that episode everyone just crossed paths so fast. For example, Danny finally has her own um, flea and she uh, will not flee her own soldiers and her own ships which would take forever to make but still it looked like she is ready to go for the hunt which is means like we are fast forwarding all these events and now we have kings and queens ruling and war is coming very soon winter has come winter is not coming anymore it came <laughs> So basically Danny on one side, she's from the south. In the north we have Jon Snow, which is not Jon Snow anymore. Now he's Jon Targaryen or Jon Stark. I think Targaryen because Lyanna Stark actually ended up with Rhaegar, Rhaegar or how his name is and they had a baby together so and that baby is Jon. This is one Jon, we saw him as well. So yeah, he's Jon Targaryen. He's royalty blood and his aunt is actually Danny. And what I anticipate or wish to happen in the future, which is really weird for me to wish this thing because honestly guys, if you think about it in real life, it's like, what? But I would really like for her to end up with, for Danny to end up with Jon Snow. That would be really cool, even though it's incest in a way, but that's something that is totally normal in Game of Thrones. So yeah. Basically, Targaryens sticking together, and that's what happened actually in history. Targaryens would marry brothers and sisters would marry together just to keep that lineage like crossing over and over. So yeah, that's totally normal for Targaryens and for others as well in Game of Thrones. So who knows, maybe that would happen. That would be my dream. Two best characters like Jon Snow and Danny together, married and whatnot. So yeah. And both of them fighting Cersei in the mid of everything because she's now the mad queen, guys! She's so mad! And now that she doesn't have anyone left except Jamie, and Jamie is so good lately that I don't know what will happen there because he does love her, but she killed Tommen. She killed so many, and because of her, all these bad things happened to the kingdom dynasty. <laughs> so what will happen here? I have no idea. Is Jamie going to kill her or not? I have no idea. I don't think he would because he honestly loves her, even though we saw in this last episode that she might not love him, which is weird because I thought that she loves him as much as he loves her, but she actually is maybe just using him, that bitch. <laughs> All right, so that's what I expect. I expect that Danny will actually find Melisandre in the way and both of them will fight the White Walkers with Jon Snow in the north. Maybe then they will stick together because half of their army will already be dead. Jon Snow actually, Jon Targaryen will not have that much army as he has now. Maybe Littlefinger will not help him anymore. And also, even though he does have a lot of people backing him up right now, be all because of Lyanna Mormont, which is awesome. She's so awesome. As a young child, she really is talented and knows how to act, which is honestly one of my favorite parts in this uh, episode. When I saw her and the way she acts, I mean... Bam. All right, guys, that's in short my anticipation for season seven. Arya will go on a killing spree, maybe she will kill Cersei as well, but maybe not, we will see. The Starks getting all together right now, fighting for the same Stark family all over again. We have something similar to previous seasons. North, West, South, three people, three kingdoms, three queens, kings, whatnot, we'll see. But I think they are going so fast with everything. They are skipping some parts from the books. They are fast forwarding. They are changing a lot. And I like it. 
I like this season more than any. And next season, only six episodes, but maybe it's because a lot of things will happen and they want season seven. They want cash and money, they actually want season eight also, even though everything can end up in season seven, but I'm not arguing. I love Game of Thrones series. <laughs> so yeah, that's me saying what I have to say or what I wanted to tell you guys. This is a bit different of a style, let me know if you like it or not. I don't think the mic is working perfectly here because it's from my Canon camera G7X. So let me know if you can hear me clearly or if you want me to get a cam or something for it. And if you like this or not. That's it. It's so hot in here, honestly. I'm so red. Thank you for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I don't think I'll see you. Bye bye. Thank you.